Hello everyone. Welcome to the channel Science Lecture. In this current video, we will be discussing three sections under chapter 10, Amendment of Applications and Specifications under Indian Patents Act 1970. The three sections are section 57, section 58 and section 59. Section 57. Amendment of application and specification or any document relating thereto before controller. Subsection 1. Subject to the provisions of Section 59, the controller may allow the application for patent or complete specification or any document to amend if he thinks fit. And in that case, patent D needs to apply or in case of before grant applicant needs to apply in a prescribed manner to the controller that he wishes to amend the application now in that case the controller shall not pass any order allowing or refusing an application to amend if there is any suit before a court for the infringement of the patent or any proceedings before the High Court for the revocation of the patent is in pending status. Section 57, Subsection 2 Every application for leave to amend an application for a patent or complete specification or any related document shall state the nature of the proposed amendment and shall give full particulars of the reasons for which the application is made. That is why amendment is required and what amendment will be done. It is to be correctly and clearly described in the form. Subsection 3. An application for leave to amend any application for the patent or complete specification or any document related made after the grant of the patent and the nature of the proposed amendment will be published. Section 57, Subsection 4. When an application is published under Subsection 3, any person interested may give notice of opposition to the controller within prescribed period of time after the publication. When such notice is given within prescribed time, the controller shall now notify the person who has made the application and he will give to that person and to the opponent an opportunity to be heard before he decides the case. Say an applicant amends his application and any interested person gives notice of opposition that he does not want that amendment. Controller will now notify that notice of opposition to the applicant and he will call for a hearing and he will hear both the applicant and the opponent before he decides about the case. Subsection 5. An amendment under this section of a complete specification may include an amendment of the priority date of the claim. Subsection 6. The provision of this section shall be without prejudice to the right of an applicant for a patent to amend his specification or related document to comply with the direction of the controller issued before the grant of a patent. That is, before grant of patent, if any amendment is done, that will be done without doing any prejudice to the right of an applicant. The relevant rule with section 57 is rule 81 and as well as rule 82 and 83. Here it is mentioned that for any kind of application for amendment is to be made in form 13 and notice of opposition is to be made in form 14. 
and the relevant rule for hearing is rule 57 to 63. The procedure specified in rule 57 to 63 for post grant opposition for filing of written statement, reply statement or evidence, hearing, cost, etc. Except the procedural part related to the opposition board includes under rule 62 and a leave to amend the complete specification obtained by fraud is a ground of revocation of patent under section 6410. Next we come to section 58. Amendment of specification before appellate board or high court. Subsection 1. Subject to the provision contained in section 59, in any proceeding for the revocation of patent, the appellate board or the high court may allow the patentee to amend his complete specification in such manner and subject to such terms as to cost, advertisement or otherwise as the appellate board or high court thinks fit. And if in any proceedings for revocation, the appellate board or high court decides that the patent is invalid, it may allow the specification to be amended under this section instead of revoking the patent. Under recent rule amendment, IPB is now abolished. Section 58, subsection 2. Where an application for an order under this section is made to the appellate board or the high court, the applicant shall give notice of the application to the controller. And controller shall be entitled to appear and be heard. And he shall appear if it is directed by the appellate board or the high court. Subsection 3. Copies of all the orders of appellate board or high court allowing the patentee to amend the specification shall be transmitted by the appellate board or high court to the controller. And it will cause an entry and reference made in the register. Let's discuss section 59. Supplementary provisions as to amendment of application or specification. Subsection 1. No amendment of an application for a patent or complete specification or any related document shall be made except by way of disclaimer, correction or explanation or except for the purpose of incorporation of actual fact. If the specification as amended would claim or describe matter that is not disclosed or shown in the specification before the amendment or any claim of the specification as amended would not fall within the scope of the claim of the specification before the amendment that is not allowed. Section 59, subsection 2. Where after the date of grant of patent, any amendment of the specification or related document is allowed by the controller or by the appellate board or by the high court, then the amendment shall for all purposes be deemed to form part of the specification. That is, the amended portion will be now part of the specification. And the fact that the specification or any document has been amended will be published as expeditiously as possible. And the right of the applicant or patentee to make amendment shall not be called in question except in case of fraud. Subsection 3. In construing the specification as amended, Reference may be made to the specification as originally accepted. Here it is shown the relevant forms with the fees.
We thank all the viewers for watching the video. Please give a like and please share and subscribe the channel Science Intellectual. We are aiming to provide you the necessary information regarding the sections, rules, forms or fees that comes under Indian Patents Act 1970. This is very helpful during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you all.